In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up this simple ball game as an introduction to using the Blender game engine. Open the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make this yourself or download it from my website. Change the layout from default to Game Logic and change Blender Render to Blender Game. In the view menu, change the view from orthogonal to perspective and change shading to textured. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. In Game Logic Layout, we have a 3D view window in the middle. The outliner window is now on the left. We have a properties window on the right. We have two new windows, a text editor window and a logic editor window. Drag to close the properties panel, zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and middle mouse button. These controls allow us to add logic bricks. There are three types of logic brick, sensors, controllers and actuators. Sensors sense events. An event could be an object coming near to the board, an object colliding with the board, or the player of the game pressing keys to control the game. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. To specify which key is sensed, click on the key field, and when press a key is displayed, press the left arrow. I'm going to talk more about controllers later. For now, I'm just going to add an AND controller. Actuators are the actions you want taken in response to the event. It could be play a sound or quit the game. I want to move the board so I'm going to add a motion actuator. When the left arrow is pressed I want the board to rotate about the y-axis. So I'm going to enter a value minus 0 0.05 and enter. When the left arrow is pressed a signal leaves the sensor, goes down a wire to the AND gate, through the AND gate, down the wire to the motion actuator where the board is rotated. If I click the start button and press the left arrow, the board rotates. Press escape to quit out the game engine. I need to make room to add more logic bricks, so I'm going to give this logic brick a meaningful name and click the white triangle to close it up. Close up the AND controller and give the motion actuator a more meaningful name, Y anti clock and close that up and scroll to make more room add another keyboard sensor click the key field and press the right arrow add another and controller add another motion actuator set the y rotation value to be 0 0.05 and enter, connect that up, and click the start button and press the right arrow and the board rotates clockwise, escape. Name the logic brick right and close that up, close up the AND gate, name the logic brick Y clockwise and close that up. Next I'm going to make the board tilt forward and back. I'm going to add another keyboard sensor. Click the key field and press the up arrow. Add an AND controller and a motion actuator. I'm going to enter in the X rotation a value of minus 0.05 and enter. Connect that up and click the start button to make sure it works. Press the up arrow and it tilts forward, press escape, name this logic brick up and this logic brick X anti clock and close up the logic bricks. To tilt back add a keyboard sensor and click the down arrow, add an AND controller and a motion actuator. 
enter in the X rotation point zero 0.05, enter, and connect that up and check that that works. Pressing the down arrow, it tilts back, press escape, and name this logic brick down, and this logic brick X clock wise. Close up the logic bricks. We're now ready to add the ball in the add menu, add mesh UV sphere. Click the object button and set the Z location to be 1.1 and enter. Click the render button and start the game engine and press the left arrow to tilt the board and the ball does not move. Press escape. To make the ball move, we have to set its physics properties. I'm dragging on the boundary of the properties window to make it wider and I'm gonna click the physics button. I'm gonna set the physics type for the sphere to be rigid body. Now Blender will update the location and the rotation of the sphere, taking into account gravity, momentum, collisions, and any other forces that act on the sphere. Click the render button and start the game engine and press the left arrow and now the sphere moves under gravity. Press escape. Click the object button and set the Y location of the sphere to minus six and enter. Click the render button and click start. I'm going to end the tutorial there. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and display a score when the ball goes through one of the holes. I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.